So we have here the Diver Wooden Automator Project. Uh, you turn the handle on the side of the model and the diver kicks and swims. I'm going to well, open the packet, see what's inside and then I'm going to walk you through making it from start to finish. We've got a nice sturdy box here. There's obviously something inside, let's have a look then. I'll pop this sides open and inside we have an electric motor for driving the model which we can optionally use. You can either use a hand crank or you can use this electric motor. And the battery pack that goes with that and then this is the part and the instructions all beautifully printed onto MDF and uh, ready to go. So I'll put these to one side. Let's pop open the plastic seal. And get to all the fun parts in the middle. We've got the instruction sheet. Instruction sheet like that. Comprehensive instructions, all fully illustrated, steps you through one, pe one step at a time. Like that. And then all of the parts are here and ready to go. They're all fantastically made, it's all really intricate and accurately cut and it's really nice to see them printed on as well so you can, you've got the colour when you assemble the model it's ready coloured it's a lovely finish on that paintwork so those are the parts and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each sheet one at a time um, there's actually a map of the, all the parts there and each part is numbered so that will be you that will be referenced in the instruction sheet later on and then basically it's a case of you can see there they're sort of held in place with these little tiny holes there so it's just a case of pop and the bit comes out that easy I might go around with a little with a nail file or something like that and just take those just smooth those off but apart from that it's ready to go all the parts cut out and ready for assembly. Let's have a look at the instructions. So it looks like the first part that we're going to be building is this um, main shaft. And these spaces are going to go like this and it's important that you put these in at this point because otherwise it becomes impossible to put the thing together so with these slots to the back those spaces go like that and then that all slots together I love what tight fits these are, these are fantastically machined. Done, they've done a really good job with these. So these are going to be cam followers, like that. They're going to slide up and down. And these are what's going to move the legs. I'm going to make the legs kick so they slide up and down there. And it basically takes that movement from down, down there, takes it above the top of the box, which is there slot that in there, here we go, push that back together again. So this is going to be the drive. So I'm going to fit these two cams onto this camshaft onto here, also with a small hole on it, and then this piece also with a small hole. So these are almost identical, but the one's got a hole and one hasn't. The piece with the hole goes in there. It's a nice tight, tight fit, so that everything, everything holds together there. And then on the other side, the cam goes at 90 degrees to the first one. Goes in there, and there we have 
crank ready to go and then on the side with the hole we're going to add this gear and that's going to be used later on for a lucky motor if you put one in front back just sort of force that bit in by flaring the leg the sides out a little bit like that there we go perfect and then they go in there that's it right um, that's going to go in there so that's going to go on there that's going to go on there and then you can already you can already see the kicking action slides on here that's going to go there into the base of the box battery pack for powering the uh, automata should you want to do it that way yeah that fits in there perfectly okay Right, so that's the box made. Looking good. Those two pieces fit together like that. And then the uh, flipper fits on the top over those two tabs. So, that's one. And then the other one is the same. But the flipper goes the other way left leg right leg and then we have two push rods like this. these are the push rods and two little pins and the push rods fasten onto the uh, onto the leg at that point there and you've got that sort of oval and the pin goes through the oval slot again Everything's lined up carefully. Okay, make sure everything's back together again. The leg goes on to there, and the other end goes on to there. There's one leg working and the other link piece goes in there and then we should have find the centre piece of the head, find this piece which goes across like that in the middle. These are the inner parts of the head, one goes there, one goes there, there's a little marker hole at the top so you know which is the top. The uh, face goes on the front, it looks really creepy at the moment doesn't it? But in a minute it's going to look great. The goggles go on the front. These are the uh, air tubes. So they just sort of drop into place, they sort of, they've got a bit of flex to them, so they just sort of drop there and one drops there. This, which is the regulator. So I've got the head assembled and there is the, this is the uh, front body plate. Okay, so that's going to fit there like that. So these parts here, this is what the arm's going to fit fasten on and so I've got a T shape with a slightly off centre so the short leg of the T is going to go in this hole. The vertical shaft of the T sits below the leg there. The side of the body goes over the top so that the long piece of the T comes through the hole like that. Like that. So the arm then just fits onto that piece that's sticking out and then as the leg moves up and down that makes the arm move 
I'm going to do the same on the other side. And you see that the arms move with the legs. And two air bottles which are the same, basically it's two pieces pushed together and then the end on there like that. What goes in that side, same on the other side. And we've got this piece which is the gauges and that's it, that completes the model. So there you have the wooden automata diver.